So, put your phones away. Submit your work. Yesterday, you had to do the first half of the review. Today, we're going to finish that. So, let's look at those answers and see what you have questions about. So the first section was matching. You had to determine what kind of angles those were. Okay. So look at one through eight. Look at one through eight. See how you did. Number one was E, number two is B, number three is F, four is A, five is F, six is C, seven is B, eight is D. You're just determining what kind of angles you have there. Any questions? Okay, nine, 10, and 11, you had to solve for X. So depending on what kind of angles you were given, that told you whether you set these equal to each other or set them up to equal 180. So number nine is corresponding angles, so you set them equal to each other. Solve for x, you get seven. That's all your directions told you to do is just solve for x. You didn't have to go back and find the actual angle measure. Number 10, those are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are congruent, so you set those equal to each other. And number 11, those are same side interior angles, so you set them up to equal 180. Okay. Number 12, there is a mistake here. I need to fix it. It's, it's just what I told you about yesterday. So on number 12, this should say 105. So this is 105. You had to fill in all of the missing angle measures. And what this says, it says W is parallel to X. And Y is parallel to Z. Okay, any questions? On 13 through 22, you had matching. Be careful here with linear pairs and linear, linear pair theorem or postulate. So linear pair theorem was here. If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. And then a linear pair was B, which is formed by two adjacent angles that forms a line. So just be careful there. We shouldn't be on our phones. Any questions on these? Yes. Yes, and that's what I told you yesterday. Okay. okay, 23, you had, this is segment edition. So solve for X and then determine the length of AC. 
So we are given 14 is A to B, and 3x minus 4 is B to C. Those two together equal 4x plus 4. So that's exactly how you set it up. 14 plus 3x minus 4 equals the whole thing, which is 4x plus 4. Solve for x, you get x is 6. Okay. And then it asks you to determine the length of AC. So you have to go back in and then plug in 6 here for x. 4 times 6 plus 4 is not 30. It's 28. Questions? And 24 is set up the same way. So we have from M to N, that is 17 units. From N to P, that's three Y units. So those two added together equal the whole thing which is 5y plus 9. Yes. Okay, so how did we get AC? Well, what did the problem tell you AC was? It says AC from A to C is 4x plus 4, right? When you saw for x, we found that x is 6. So then you just plug in 6 here. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 4 is 28. Okay, on 24, you had to do the same thing for MP. You found Y is 4. MP, and it told you M to P is 5Y plus 9. So you're going to plug in a 4 here for Y. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 plus 9 is 29. Any questions? This will be on your test. Okay, let's keep going. Number 25, okay, so 25 says, given the measure of A, B, C is 94 degrees, that big angle is composed of the two smaller angles. The two smaller angles are 3X plus 15 and X plus 7. So those two added together, 3X plus 15, plus x plus 7 equals 94. Oh, like. Then you would combine like terms, 3x plus x is 4x. Five, 15 plus 7 is 22. Subtract 22, we get 4x equals 72. Divide, you get x is 18. And the question just said, determine the value of x. So once you, once you find x, you are done. Any questions? All right, number 26. All right, given the measure of QST, QST is this bigger angle. That is 135. Determine the value of X and then determine the measure of RST. So the big angle is made up of these two smaller angles, 3x plus 1, and then you have 2x minus 6. So those two added together equal the whole thing. So we had 2x minus 6, and you had 3x plus 1. 
those two added together equal the whole thing, which is 135. Combine like terms, solve for x, do the fun algebra stuff. You get x is 28. Okay. Then your question asks you to find the measure of RST. Well, RST is 2x minus 6. I'll do that in red. Okay. We know that x is 28. So you're going to plug in a 28 here for x. 2 times 28 minus 6 is 50. OK, thumbs up. Moving on. 27 and 28. 27, those are a linear pair, so you set them up to equal 180. Because if you didn't do this, right now would be a good time to jot this stuff down, or at least some of it. All right, 27. Yes? Because they make a line. These are a linear pair. Those two angles together form a line. So x plus x minus 6. So we've got these two angles. Added together. Make a line. So you set them equal to 180. Because we know that a straight line is 180 degrees. 28. What do we set these two equal to? Set them up equal to what? 90. That's a right angle. So the entire thing is 90. We have this angle x plus 59 plus the angle 40 minus 2x. Those two added together equal 90. When you solve for x here, you get 9. And all you had to do is solve for x on these two. So on 27, you get x is 93. On 28, you get x is 9. OK. Part 2, review 2. Uh, you had to solve for x on the first page. You got to determine what kind of angles you're given. And that's going to tell you whether or not you set them equal to each other or equal to 180. So one, those are alternate exterior angles. And this just means it's 90 degrees. So you're going to say 21x plus 6 equals 90. Solve for x you get x is 4. Number two, those are corresponding. Corresponding angles are congruent, so you set them equal to each other. Solve for x. You get x is 7. Questions? Okay, on three and four. Number three, those are alternate interior angles. So alternate interior angles are congruent. That means we set those two expressions equal to each other and you get X is eight. Number four, those are corresponding. 
So they are congruent, so you set them equal to each other. On number four, you should get x is five. On number five, those are alternate exterior. So you set them equal to each other. Solve for x, you get x is 15. Number six, those are alternate interior. So you set them equal to each other. You get x is seven. Yep, you are finishing the entire packet today. We have one more page to go over here, and then you will get started on your work. So number seven, those are same side interior angles. Same side, either interior or exterior, they add to 180. So you set that up as 6x plus 5x plus 15. So those two added together equal... 180. You get x is 15. Number eight, solve for r. You have vertical angles. Vertical angles are, you can say it, congruent. So we set them equal to each other. You get r is 43. Number nine, these form a linear pair. So you set them up to equal 180. Can you wait just a minute? Okay. I'm almost done. Number 10, those are vertical angles. You set them equal to each other, you get x is 16. Number 11, it just says solve for x. So we have three different parts here. We have x minus six is from n to m. You have m to l, which is nine. And then you have l to k, which is two x minus 19. That equals the entire thing, which is 23. Okay, so those three added together, x minus 6 plus 9 plus 2x minus 19 equal the whole thing, which is 23, you solve for x. you get x is 13. Okay, so let's do number 12 together. Okay, so number 12, this one's a little weird. Let's use yellow. Our first segment from B to C is 3x minus, or sorry, 3x plus 47. So this part plus this part down here, C to E, that makes up the whole line, right? Right? Right. Okay. And then this next part. So from B to D, which is 27 plus X plus here, D to E, that makes up the whole line. So what you're going to do, you're going to set the two colors I have equal to each other. So 
So 3x plus 47. And then x plus 26. Those two make up the whole line. And then the other two make up the whole line. So you're setting those equal to each other. So the other part would be what's in blue, 27 plus x, and then plus 10. Okay, now we just combine like terms, solve for x. What's 3x plus x? So we have 4x. What's 47 plus 26? 73. And then 27 plus 10 is 37. Okay. I'm going to subtract x. We get 3x plus 20. That's not 23. That's 73. And now subtract 73. What's 37 minus 73? Negative 36. Okay, so divide by 3. Just go with it. We're going to get a negative. X is negative 12. That's okay. We're just talking about x. We're just talking about x. We're not talking about the actual length. When you go back and plug in x, you can get the actual length. So it asks you to find the length of CE. CE is what? CE is, uh, it's not half. Hold on. So CE is this segment right here. Right? Hold on. So if we plug in X here, what does this give us? What's 27 minus 12? Sorry. 27 plus X is not the one we're supposed to be looking at. I got too close. I was looking at it too close. X plus 26 is CE. So if we plug in a negative 12 plus 26, that gives you 14. And that is okay. Sorry. So even if you get a negative as your x value, keep going. See what the actual segment length is when you plug it in. All right, so when you do the next page, again, you're going to take this entire angle, A, B, C, that is 17x plus 8. That entire angle is composed of the two smaller angles. So you would set this up. The two smaller angles. So KBC is 12x minus 4 and ABK is 42. Equals the whole thing, which is what? What's the whole thing? What's ABC? What's the whole thing? What's the expression? 17x plus 8. That's how you set it up. You're going to solve for x. And then you're going to find what that is when you plug in x here. Okay. All right, your homework is to do or your assignment for the rest of class is to finish the review.
When you finish that, there will be an assignment in Canvas. You just upload it there. And I will be posting a key, so just make sure you show your work.